Hi students, a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all. Hope you are doing good, right? Okay, in the previous class, we have discussed about so many topics, right? Now let me give one small review regarding the previous class. In the previous class, these are the topics we have discussed. So first we discussed about blood. What is blood? Blood is the main circulatory medium in the human body and it is red color, it is red in color and it is a connective tissue. So three points we discussed. Then components of blood also we discussed. What are the two components of blood? Plasma and formed elements. So formed elements another name is blood cells. Then formed elements again three types. Okay, so third we discussed about red blood corpuscles, right? Or erythrocytes. So, uh, why the human blood is red in color? Due to the presence of the respiratory pigment, hemoglobin. So, the human blood is red in color. Right. Then, what is the lifespan of this red blood corpuscles? 120 days. Lifespan is 120 days. And the shape of the RBC is biconcave and disc shaped. Then, functions also we discussed. Function, transport of oxygen from lungs to tissues. Yes. Then now uh, next we discussed about white blood corpuscles or leukocytes. This WBCs are colorless and they do not have nucleus. Then it is found in the bone marrow, spleen, thymus and lymph nodes. Then uh, these white blood cells again classified into two. Uh, what are the two uh, types? Granulocytes and A granulocytes. So granulocytes means granules are present in the cytoplasm a granulocytes granules are absent in the cytoplasm then types also we have discussed then next we discussed about blood platelets so this blood platelets lifespan of this blood platelet is 8 to 10 days and then the function is what is the function of uh, blood platelets clotting of blood then last we discussed about functions of blood so many functions we discussed transport of respiratory gases transport of uh, digested food materials to the different body cells transport of hormones transport of nitrogenous uh, waste like ammonia urea and uric acid protection of the body regulation of ph and maintain the body temperature maintain the water balance so these are the topics in the previous class we have discussed Today we are going to discuss about blood vessels. Blood vessels. These blood vessels are a network of branch tubes that transport blood. So uh, these blood vessels transport only blood. Uh, they are network of branch tubes. Network of branch tubes. Right? Then these blood vessels are three types they are arteries veins and capillaries so three types of blood vessels arteries veins and capillaries now you see here this is the artery and this is a vein and this one is capillaries so three types of blood vessels now let's see one by one first one is artery this artery is a blood vessel so this artery carry blood okay so these vessels are thick arteries are thick and elastic vessels arteries are thick and elastic vessels there are three layers are present in the artery they are inner layer outer layer and middle layer three layers okay so that layers are inner layer outer layer and middle layer inner layer is made up of endothelium outer layer is collagen fibers middle layer is smooth muscle this is a middle layer this is the outer layer and this is the inner layer okay so this area the cavity that is a lumen lumen means cavity okay so this outer layer is very very thick outermost layer is very very thick okay so these arteries are thick and elastic vessels then what is the role of this artery artery carry blood away from the heart to various organs of the body so all the arteries carry blood away from the heart to various organs of the body uh, all the arteries carry oxygenated blood remember this word okay all the arteries carry oxygenated blood but one exemption is there that is pulmonary artery which carry deoxygenated blood to the lungs 
got it so all the arteries carry oxygenated blood but pulmonary artery carry deoxygenated blood to the lungs right look at these two pictures so this is a normal artery so through this artery blood can flow properly with high pressure here there is no blockage that's why blood can flow properly but in this uh, artery there is a blockage see here fat cholesterol and other substances also deposited in the inner lining of an artery uh, because of that blood cannot flow properly why here there is a small gap that's why blood cannot flow properly with high pressure uh, so this condition leads to heart disease got it so see the difference here there is no blockage so blood can flow properly here there is a fat deposition so this leads to heart problem atherosclerosis this is the normal artery so through this artery blood can flow properly here there is no blockage that's why blood can flow properly but in this artery there is a blockage the fat is deposited in this artery okay so because of that because of the fat deposition the blood cannot flow properly through this artery so this condition is known as atherosclerosis that is a heart disease atherosclerosis one who is getting this problem with the help of the medicine sometimes he can get relief or she can get relief or else he can get the uh, operation or surgery so through the through, uh, through the surgery also he can he or she can get the relief anyway two way one is the medicine and another one is a surge, uh, surgery so the condition or the disease is known as what atherosclerosis the second blood vessel is vein this is the vein the veins are thin and non elastic vessels veins are thin and non elastic vessels there are three layers are present outer layer this is the outer layer middle layer and inner layer three layers are present in the vein so the walls are very very thin okay thin walls and elastic vessels then uh, what's the function of this vein the vein transport blood to the heart from different organs okay blood a transport blood to the heart from the different organs but in the artery just opposite is it carry blood away from the heart to various organs various organs of the body but here transport blood to the heart from the different organs all the uh, veins carry deoxygenated blood all the veins carry which blood deoxygenated blood but the pulmonary vein carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart right all the veins carry deoxygenated blood and the pulmonary vein carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart but in the arteries all the arteries carry oxygenated blood and the pulmonary artery carry deoxygenated blood just opposite is it and one more thing internal valves also present in the vein internal valves this is a valve so here uh, it is uh, visible clearly it is visible valves okay so internal valves are present only in the vein there is no internal valves in the arteries okay so blood is flowing to the heart here what's the uh, function or what's the use of this uh, uh, valves prevent a reverse blood flow valves prevents reverse blood flow got it largest veins two largest veins are present in our body they are superior vena cava and inferior vena cava so these are the two largest veins what are the two veins superior vena cava and inferior vena cava these veins are present in the heart region okay the next one is types of vein types of vein three types of veins are present deep veins superficial veins and pulmonary veins what are the three types of veins deep veins superficial veins and pulmonary veins this deep veins are located within the mus muscle tissue so deep veins are located within the muscle tissue and the superficial veins are closer to the skin surface just you see this diagram this uh, these are the superficial veins so these veins are closer to the skin surface by seeing itself we can find out just you look at your hand and find out the superficial veins right then third one is pulmonary veins 
these pulmonary veins transport blood filled with oxygen by the lungs to the heart so pulmonary veins transport only the uh, blood it is located in the heart region right types of veins three deep veins superficial veins pulmonary veins third one is capillary this is the capillary so these capillaries are small and narrow tubes the capillaries are small and narrow tubes this capillary is around 8 nu m in diameter the size is 8 nu m in diameter this capillary is connect to arterioles and venules arterioles means this artery branch into arteriole these are the branches this vein branch into venule so this capillary connects this to arteriole and venules then what is the role of this capillary this capillary delivers oxygen in the blood to the tissues and eliminate carbon dioxide okay so it eliminate or carbon dioxide and delivering oxygen uh, in the blood to the tissues now let's see the differences between artery and vein artery distributing vessel vein collecting vessel why it is known distributing vessel arteries carry blood away from the heart to various organs of the body so it is known as distributing vessel collecting vessels means uh, veins collect blood from different organs of the body and reach heart so it is known as collecting vessel number two pink in color here red in color why it is pink in color you know blood is always red right so mostly the oxygenated blood flows through the arteries so the uh, arteries are pink in color okay so oxygenated blood flows through the arteries so it is pink in color here deoxygenated blood flows through the vein so it is red in color uh, here there is no oxygen so the blood is red in color got it number three deep location superficial in location blood flow with high pressure blood flow with low pressure next point wall of artery is strong thick and elastic why the wall of artery is strong because blood flow with high pressure that's why the wall of artery is strong thick and elastic wall of vein is weak thin and non-elastic all arteries carry oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery carry deoxygenated blood veins all veins carry deoxygenated blood except pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood last point internal valves are absent internal valves are present what is the use of valves to prevent backflow of blood so today uh, you should learn this answer okay so write this answer in your notebook and learn this is your assignment these are the topics today we discussed first we discussed about blood vessels what are blood vessels blood vessels are a network of branch tubes that transport blood then we discussed about the types of blood vessels three types isn't it the first one arteries second one veins third one capillaries these arteries are thick and elastic vessels all the arteries carry oxygenated blood but the pulmonary artery carry deoxygenated blood then atherosclerosis that is a disease that also we studied then second one veins veins are thin and non-elastic uh, vessels veins carry deoxygenated blood but the pulmonary vein carry deoxygenated blood right then three types of veins also we studied then largest veins also we have studied then third one capillaries this capillaries are narrow tubes right then last one differences between artery and vein under this heading seven points we discussed right question sheet number three question number one name the three types of blood vessels number two dash artery carry deoxygenated blood number three pulmonary vein carry dash blood number four internal dash are present in veins number five veins are thin and dash vessels i hope you all know this answer